Here we are in Bucha, Erpin, Ukraine. And this is some of the devastation of the war. These are cars that have been destroyed by Russian artillery, bombs, rockets, and missiles. And it's horrendous. And the Ukrainian people are standing strong. Look at all the shrapnel hits on this one. This looks like, looks like a direct hit from a rocket or, or tank artillery. God just bless these people and continue to protect them and provide for them. Hands for God, manos for Dios, doing what we do. Going into the fire, coming out and not even smelling like smoke. And we're just grateful, Lord. We're grateful. And we just pray for the, for the innocent civilians that were brutally massacred by the Russian onslaught. Look at that, it looks like cluster munitions. Lord, we just, we praise you, Lord, and we thank you. We know your will will be done. And we know no weapon formed against shall prosper, formed against us. And they say that uh, they're recommending that we leave Ukraine if it's not safe for Americans. And we're just here under the shadow of the wing of the Most High God, feeding the people. We have a car full of supplies, and we're just grateful, and we're going to continue to feed the people, and we're going to continue to do God's will despite the danger. If you want to help, www.handsforgod.org or uh, P.O. Box 9934, Virginia Beach, Virginia, 23450. Hands for God. And we're just grateful, serving the Lord in the war-torn country, Ukraine, in May of 2022. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen.